Hi everybody, welcome to Draw the Me Kids Edition. <laughs> and today we are being turkeys because we're going to draw turkeys, right? Mm. <laughs> So let's show off your artwork. You got you had one, two, three, four, five pieces of paper. So we have all kinds of interesting um, pumpkin ideas that you have a super pumpkin, a pumpkin that's shining its own light from the darkness. In the dark. Is that kind of like one of mine that I did before? Yeah, it's really actually cute. based off of that one off of yours. Awesome. And then we have this little fella who's got a kitty in him side of him. This one who snuck into somebody's uh, Trick or treat basket by the looks of it, and uh, finally Samuel, Samuel the ghost who's holding a pan pumpkin. Is that a ghost? Yeah, he's okay. a ghost. That is really cool. And the cat's name is Isla. No, that's the pumpkin's name. The pumpkin's name is Isla. And we got my dudes. You helped me draw the cat pumpkin, the ghost pumpkin, jack o' lantern, and we have these cool ones from M. Like I don't, I want to know what the story is behind this guy here. This is a little creepy. And then this neat plague doctor. I love it all. This guy who's got a pumpkin hat, jack o' lantern hat. These are really cool. I like them. So today we're not going to be so spooky or pumpkiny. We're going to go and do our turkey. Sort of like this. I've got, this is what the worksheet's going to look like, and this will become available on Sunday for people to download, but it's available now on my Patreon, Sam I and Art Patreon page. For $5 a month, you get them early from everybody else, plus drawing sheets and stuff. Um, I am not on the right page. So if you guys have your papers and your pens ready, I'm going to split the screen here so you can see what Miss Rainbows is up to. We're gonna do these really simple turkeys, which you can use for Thanksgiving cards, or for hello from Gatno, or for Ayo. whatever. You can sort of change the shape to make other creatures. So what we're gonna start with. This is my super cool illusion. Are you making an illusion? It's called the rubber pencil. So what we do with our turkey is we're going to start with this kind of round circle shape. You could go more cir circular if you want, but I'm sort of trying to get that uh, uh, sort of more of a, I don't know, what would you even call this? A gumdrop almost? A little bit like a bit triangular. Kind of like an egg. Triangular part, a little bit like an egg. Let's start with a circle. My turkey. All right. And what you do in order to get the turkey tail... I didn't give myself enough room to give that brilliant tail. As you follow the same shape almost that you have, right along the top like an arc. I have gone a little far on my arc. Yeah, yeah there goes the wind again, honestly. Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you draw two straight lines. Might be at a little angle depending on where you've ended your arc. And that's the connection of the tail. You can kind of use this to to set a pattern for uh, even a peacock if you want, but I'd make the body a lot smaller. And then we're going to put the fe feathers in. So it's just sort of creating a whole bunch of lines just like that. That goes Mommy, right. I think you just kind of gave it away. Gave one of my trivia questions away. What? Maybe. Maybe I did. We'll see who remembers stuff. Although, I know uh, Em's got a good memory, so maybe she'll remember. Maybe our other viewers might not. You never know. You never know. So this is what we've started with, is round circle, an arch, and now we've got all the lines for the different feathers. We've got to draw our next circle right about there. It's kind of overlaps a little bit of the body and the feathers. And you can erase that. Anything behind it? 
That's the head. And then you draw. Oh my goodness, I don't have a good rig at all. Kind of almost a cylinder for its neck. I don't have a good eraser. No! I don't, I'm just mushing my page. Oh no, that's never good if you're mushing your page. How about pumpkin? Would pumpkin mush your page? No. Get. Creak, creak, I still haven't fixed my chair. I didn't do this guy's neck or head right in the middle, but you should probably make it a little more centered. I didn't. I have Your turkey trivia. is I have huge. Trivia. You have some trivia? Okay, sorry. I'm just amazed by the size of your turkey. While you're uh, going to do our trivia. Is, okay, go ahead. What is the name of the piece of skin that comes off of the turkey's beak? Well, this is good because we're gonna about to draw it after we do the legs. What is the name of the piece of skin that comes off of the turkey's beak? A. Um, a, uh, what? You don't have them right in front of you. Options, a. Snood. Me. B. Comb. C. Beard. Beard. Or, or D. D none, none of, of the, the above. above. So is it an A, snood, a B, comb, a D, a C, beard, or D, none of the above? I got really excited. So what we're going to do next is do the legs. We've got two straight lines going down. You can make them go, come to taper them. So come to a little point, like mm. a triangle almost, if you want. And then three triangles for its feet. The little feet. Now, if you want to do something that's a little bit more of a realistic turkey and a turkey's leg, their legs, if you're doing one from the side, have that sort of dog leg to them. They bend their knees backwards, so they sort of have something like that. But I'm just doing straight legs because it's easier for some of my NA. younger one. We have N A question mark. Kind of looks like big bird legs actually. A question mark. The answer is A snood. The answer is A snood. I just love that word snood. And the second and How the last snood. piece of trivia. Well, I got one more. Well, for me. Is what? Oh no, I have I have one more too. Well, you go with after, the trivia. after this one. Um, I'm gonna draw a triangle for the beak while Sophie is thinking of the question. What? Uh, what does? Uh, can a turkey fly? That was my question. Then I have one more after this. Okay. So I've just drawn two circles for the eyes and a little triangle for the beak. And I haven't filled in the whole triangle for the beak. Can a turkey fly is the question. Yes or no? Yeah. It's not really a A, B, C, or D question. Can a turkey fly? So now what we do with the snood, like turkey? it just sort of goes over the top like a raindrop almost. Do and sometimes like it covers the whole beak. Yeah, I want to see your turkey. Can I see him actually? Yeah, my turkey. Oh my gosh, it's a big guy. <laughs> that is a big guy. So the big snood turkey. is a little bit like a big raindrop, like a glob almost came off the top of the turkey's beak. And the longer the snood, the more dominant the turkey is in in the flock. I think I think so. You think so? <laughs> The answer is yes! Turkeys can fly, but they can't fly very high like uh, some other birds. There's an exception to that. Turkeys that are domesticated can't fly because we make them so fat. We feed them until they're nice and big around and they can't get their own weight off the ground. But turkeys in the wild uh, roost in trees. So at nighttime they sleep in the trees. So they kind of need to get off the ground. And my last trivia question. Okay. Um, how is a turkey like a peacock? 
from the jerky. I'm not going to give like options, a though, because there's so many things that it could be the same with. Mm-hmm. Or like with. So I'm just going to add little triangles out to the side. I'm going to that triangles. turkey. Out to the side for its little wings, because it can't get off the ground. And I added a little bump bumpy sort of skin tags on its neck because they all the turkeys seem to have that which i think is makes them so fascinating I sort of have these little makes things. you so fascinating makes me so fascinating what is that what said. i just said because i have skin tags <laughs> i'm a turkey oh no. <laughs> what i meant to say was what i thought what i think makes the turkeys very fascinating is that they have these cool skin things. So what was your question? Was What do turkeys and peacocks have in common? What are they? How are peacocks and turkeys the same? Well, I can just look at one and see why. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I want to eat that turkey. No! I'm sorry, no, I don't want to eat that turkey. He's so cute. Don't eat my turkey. See, I like I like this. Emily's just got sort of like wham, wham, wham. Three things: both birds, both a feather thing back on the back, their tail feathers. Yep, and they're both more vibrantly colored. The males are more vibrantly colored. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what what uh, their similarities are. Yeah. Did you know that the snood on a turkey, besides sort of giving it that dominant feature, if they're in a flock, do you know? that it changes color depending on the mood of the turkey. So the turkey is angry, it goes kind of blue. It's like when people get red in the face, it's sort of the same idea. It just gets very deep blue, almost purple, uh, when it gets very angry. So you can sort of tell a turkey, whether a turkey is a calm turkey and you can approach it, or you should stay the heck away from that turkey. (laughs) This is my happy turkey. My next question is, what country are turkeys from? Where did they originate? I don't know this one. Well, I'll even give it to you if you can give me the general continent. Europe, Asia, North America, South America, Australia. You can do coloring on your turkey. Different different things on your turkey. This is pretty much the turkey. Right here. Super easy. Now you I can sort of do some Don't know? I don't know. Well, where do we celebrate Thanksgiving? October? Well we yeah, we celebrate in October, but what country celebrates Thanksgiving? North America. Mm-hmm. Well, Canada and the U.S. So turkeys are native to North America, despite having a name of another country. And according to National Geographic book Turkeys, that turkeys were indeed named after the country. And not necessarily in the most uh, kind of ways either. Because originally in Europe, in English language, turkeys were first seen through trading markets that were run by uh, predominantly uh, merchants from Turkey, Constantinople, that area. They bring these birds in from other marketplaces. And uh, so that's why they got their name. So even though we had already explored they were sort of not uh, not named really. We weren't given a name, an English name, shall we say, until Look, this is my happy turkey. It's your happy turkey. 
Oh, it's very happy turkey. I'm coloring my turkey in right now. And the chick. Because that was a really quick one, so I have a lot of time to color and take questions and stuff. We can do other things for the... What things people want to learn how to draw with your turkeys. Turkeys were, really cool fact actually about turkeys is domesticated turkeys, so turkeys that live on farms, um, ha, were, are, are bred rather specifically to have white feathers. So most turkeys, male and female, on farms will have white or lighter colored birds. Whereas most of the turkeys you see in the wild are very uh, dark colors, so browns and blues and, and whatnot to blend with. Um, I'm making happy. To blend with their environment. magic turkey. And the first people to, uh, let's see here, magic turkey? Happy turkey, the wild magic turkey. Oh, the wild magic turkey. Sorry, I got lost in the thought there. I said, oh no, she said something. I gotta find out what she said. And, and happy turkey is his name. Happy turkey is his name? Yes, it's happy. Really? Happy the turkey? Happy turkey. Happy turkey. It's his name. Oh, I can't forget the happy part. Happy turkey. Yeah, the first people to um, to breed or domesticate turkeys were the Aztecs and uh, the Anasazi. So by the time we had uh, the whole pilgrim thing from Thanksgiving dinners or whatnot, they were already a staple on in farming communities. Happy turkey skin with little wings color and its feathers color. Oh, nice. Turkeys almost went extinct. Whoa. Yeah. Due to um, over expansion and taking over their territory. So there's a program where a bunch of wild turkeys um, were released to different cities and places. We have one here where we're from, in Ottawa. And now you can see those turkeys pretty regularly. <laughs> those scary turkeys. They're not scary. They're just really cool looking. This turkey has very substantial legs that I've made here. I wonder what everybody's plans are going to be for this weekend. It's going to be a nice extra long weekend. But uh, I don't know if everybody's going to be having their Thanksgivings together with their uh, bubbles, their families and their bubbles. Oh, I'm going to make the waddle. He's going to be a happy turkey. He's got other. He's not an angry turkey. If you were an angry turkey, he might have a little bit like this. And he's starting to get upset. <laughs> I don't want him to be angry. I just want to be happy too. Yeah. You've inspired me, Sophia. Turkey. Happy turkey and you have inspired me. Yeah. We're going to have a quiet dinner. But we're going to bring some food to other people that... I'm going to be, uh, that we normally have Thanksgiving dinner with, right? Yeah. I'm going to make sure they get some turkey dinner too. I'm going to cook my very first turkey. It's okay, turkey. You didn't hear that. I'm excited. I'm going to have some fun. You going to help? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's going to be a little bit of iridescent sort of greeny color in this guy's tail. I have 
have a green tail on a happy turkey. You have a green tail on a happy turkey? Look. Oh, that's a pretty green tail. I'm going to put a little bit of green on mine and then sort of change the color as I go up. So we're going to do the rest of the month of October as a spooktacular month. Right? Yeah. And one of the things that I'm following that I'm doing, um, and maybe you guys want to join in, is a challenge called Draw Halloween from one of my favorite artists, Mab Graves. And she has a series of prompts for every single day of October. And next week is extraterrestrial, so alien. It's an alien. As in outer space. So we're thinking we would like to do outer space stuff. Outer space alien. And I think what would be fun to do for some of the younger ones that sometimes join later would be to do the little squeaky toys from Pizza Planet um, Toy Story. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I also have a cool And then we can just kind of let our imaginations go and just create our own aliens if we want to. I know that I can, how I can create an alien. Yeah, you know how you're going to create an alien? I have a simple step by step to make an alien. Okay. Maybe this, this is the uh, turkey imposter. It's going to have... There's a new pollen. I'm doing October. Doing October, okay. But instead of using ink, I have no clue how. I'm using a character named Ink for the prompts. Oh, that's so cool. That is really neat. I usually do an Inktober, but I found myself uh, very, very busy in the last couple of weeks. So, um... I'm just going to draw a quick little background here for, for my happy turkey. I think I've only posted two for my Drawloween stuff that I've managed to get done because I've been so busy with everything else. I got, I did, um, I did one that was werewolf. So I did the phases of the moon, sort of a big tapestry thing for a werewolf family. And what was the other one we did? The other one I did was the pumpkin dragon, which I think is on my, my web page. I well, both of them are up on my Facebook page. Um, I got I did uh You've done three. a lot more. I did three and I was working on four. Um I did uh I did um I did the werewolf, which I did a little werewolf. I did a collab with werewolf, with number one, number two, werewolf and pumpkin, where a little werewolf is giving his friend the pumpkin. That's yeah, her eye turned blue. No. Um. Yeah. If um. And did he like having the pumpkin? Was he a big smile on his face? Yeah. Then for number three is a change line. Change there are some people that don't know what a changeling is. It's some fairy creature that like takes a ba human babies and replaces them. So what I did was I did a, a girl, like a changeling fairy girl, sitting in class in school. That's pretty cool. I liked I liked how you did it with the ears and and she sort of did the elven pointy ears and she looked really cool. Yeah, I liked her. I was her. working on four, which is poison. That girl is poison. And I was trying to do um. There's a game that I like watching my mommy and my daddy play, which is um, undermine. And what I was doing is because. Uh, there's a creature or a thing that 
demon person guy that you can find it. Uh, that um, that you can get curses, which are bad side effects that you can get. Uh, and then he'll give you an item. Uh, so I was doing that, and then he was given one that, like he was given somebody like a potion bottle. I guess I could do a collab piece. Will you merge? Uh, one with the next day or one with the last day? I could probably do that. I will show, give a preview of some of what I've been working on. Otherwise, I've been doing a, this. Working on a new book. A new children's book. And this is Charlie the Chipmunk. So one of the pages that I'm doing for his Christmas thing. Thank you for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so that you can never miss one of our streams being uploaded. That's right. Don't miss another art jam. Make sure and you hit that notification bell. Anyway, thank you so much guys for joining us this week with for Draw With Me Kids Turkey. And uh, do, you want, do you want to show your turkey? This, this is happy turkey. Is happy turkey. This is happy turkey because happy turkey's in the wild and no one's gonna eat happy turkey. No, he's happy because he's always happy. He's just always happy. That is a really sweet thing. Thank you for sharing happy turkey. And I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. Some of your own interesting takes on turkeys. And maybe you're going to make a card for your parents or a card for a teacher or a card for your grandparents or for your friend for Thanksgiving to wish them a happy Thanksgiving. Either way, we hope you guys had a lot of fun and we'll see you next week for, well, we are going to do extraterrestrial, but I, we might throw some armor in there. Uh, thanks to uh, M telling us she's doing some Inktober, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, uh, Maybe I will also bring some of my Inktober stuff out so people can see inking techniques. So we will see you guys next week at 4 o'clock. Same time, same place. Bye. Bye. Hope you enjoyed.